Let's open our Bibles. We are continuing today. Mark 10. Mark 10 from 46 to 52. Marika 10, 46 to 52. Are you there? Literacy. Then they came, they came to Jericho. And as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, a son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. Bafitla Monsengwa Jericho, Rei Zomusengwa, Anna Libarutu, Abara, Willisha, Balele Rolo, Wabarudu Chimu to Wasifo for Sling, Rosila, Ahopela, Ebe Libartimio, Murawa Timeo. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, saying, Jesus, son of David, have pity and mercy on me. And many severely censored and reproved him, telling him to keep still. But he kept on shouting out all the more, you son of David, have pity and mercy on me. Baba Nchi, Bamo Halima Baria Humole, Yaba on Atla Busha Holy in Chicago, Dari Murata Vita, Nkaurele. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, telling him, Take courage, get up, he's calling you. Jesu Aema Riba Miche, Bam Micha Munna Yoasifo for Baribita Pilu, so are we a mewabicha. And throwing off his outer garment, he leaped up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Master, let me receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has healed you. And at once he received his sight and accompanied Jesus on the road. Jesua recipila tumelo ya gawo yu upulu shiche. Muna yu abuela abona asalimo awela tzila latela Jesu. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, I want us to to learn about what was happening here. Kenyakwari tutesen nesidira galamo. Because when you see uh, the son of Timias, the way he was introduced, the Bible says he was sitting by the roadside. This was very, very important to this message. He was sitting by the roadside. But when we continue reading, we found that still he, though he heard that this was Jesus who was passing, and tried to do what he was doing, he could not move from where he was. If, if you can read here, you find that. He was still shouting, but he was on the roadside. Okay, the disciples, uh, you know, they were not happy about him. But still, he was not on their road. He was, he was on the wayside. You know, sometimes uh, disciples, I mean, even Christians of now, they are troubled by the people who are just crying to Jesus. Now, we're chatting way, but to a match at Chia, Oliver Pulusa, 
Sometimes when we go to church, we find people who have got matters about other people who are crying to Jesus. Now, we're sitting where if you take it again, or tell about to our own way, to our own way, Baba Lelango Jesus. The Bible said this man Bible was on the wayside, now do you think that's in a side? Thing that's in a to extend that when Jesus called him, of it as a monster, he just saw a beach. I mean, they changed their language, they began to say, Cheer up. The same people that were silencing him are the ones that I say, Oh, cheer up. Cheer up. You know, people here, if you can read, you realize people they don't have standplay. They don't have standplay. Do you have standplay? When Jesus said, Oh, come. I just saw it. They cheer him up. They say he's calling you come. But look here. The, the painful story was this man's name was not introduced. There are many people on the wayside. On the roadside. But they are not even known. They have forgotten them. If you read here, you will find that his name was not even mentioned. Second, he was called by the father's name. In other words, his name was not existing. He was a reproach of his father. In other words, somebody say, what is this? He is the son of Tamias. This is a stupid man, the son of Makananisa. His name was forgotten. Why? Because he was on the road, sir. Many times Anchi. we don't matter because of where we are. Our challenges bury us more. The because we are on the road side. On the other side, the people people are enjoying themselves. On the road. They are just, I mean, accelerating. Yourself, you're on the other side well, watching now them do passing. Do As As I say, are you not on the road side? It seems as if your friends are passing oh, you no, and you are no, watching no, them no, passing. No, and your name is not even mentioned. I want you to look at this verse here. It says, but he said, Jesus 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 Take verse courage, 49. they said, get up, he's calling you. If you look at verse 50, verse 50, the Bible says, I mean, he was defined to show that even what he was wearing was showing who he was. Fifty says, throwing off his outer garment. He leaped up and came to Jesus. You know, if the Bible says, Here it says, He leaped up, it means he didn't have an angle of showing that this is his steps he's taking. Even the way you walk to Jesus, it was, not, it was not formal. This man can be disregarded even when he's called when he was going there, he does not show the way he's called. He's called. He just rushed there like he's crazy. I mean, you know, 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 you
The Bible says he lived out. He Bible roof file. He, 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 and then he was running there. And look what Jesus said here. Jesus said, Go your way. Jesus are Samaya. 52. Go your way. Your faith has healed you. Jesus addressed his way. Okay. Jesus said, okay, you wanted to be healed. Receive healing. Now go your way. If you can check Jesus here. Jesus was not begging people to come to him. He healed him. And said, go your way. So this man realized so that there is no way he can go. Man, let's read there. In verse 52, he says, the Bible says, at once he receives his sight and accompanying Jesus on the road. Listen to this. Our problem is our way. Our problem is our way. Today we'll be talking about that. Problem is our way. And remember that Jesus says, I am the way. Here, Jesus is directing this man. Go your way. Do you know that if this man might have taken his way, the blindness could come back to him. This man realized that if I take my way, the way Jesus said, go your way, your faith is If he, he goes his way, what will happen? What makes him to be blind? Can he come back again? So, this man, the Bible says, he was blind. He began to live his way. And accompanying Jesus on the road. In other words, he left his way and followed the way of Jesus. That's what my friend. The problem is your way. Not long I was learning that when we take our ways, when we just take our ways, there are things we will meet on those ways. But do you know that usually when we meet those things, we, we, we come back and cry and say, Jesus, why did you allow this? Whereas we are the one who took our way. Can I say it again to you? Can I say it again to you? You must check your way. Whether it's the way of Jesus. If it is the way of Jesus. When you meet a challenge. You are accompanying Jesus. Jesus knows that challenge. But if it is your way. You are about to meet your own challenge. And when you call Jesus. He is not even there. You are on your way. And you are on your own challenge. You wanted it. That's my friend. Many challenges. We are meeting them because we created our ways. If you read Jeremiah 21, verse 8, Jeremiah was speaking there. Jeremiah Nabolela. Jeremiah 21, verse Jeremiah 21, verse 8. It says what? Here. It says, All right. And to these people you shall say, it was God speaking. That says the Lord. Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. It was God. Now, I want to 
You know if you can read here you realize that Au ka bala motlo le mo gore God gave us a choice Mo di mo re file o ikhetela We choose a way of life Re kheta tsela ya bophilo The way of death O ba tsela ya lego So automatically on your way Ga no ora o re he di tseleng tsa rena There have to be a way of death O so ntsho ba le tsela ya lego In Proverbs 14 verse 12 Mola o di ema 14 12 If you read that verse it says there is a way that seems Ere ona le tsela ya bonalang o ka re to be right we look ile at the end kanti mafelong a tsela ye is the way of destruction ke tsela ya o ya bofelong o ba le khong is it this why are you meeting all these challenges ntwe dira ngore khono le mo wa di tsela tsho ba di challenge don't worry if you are the way of jesus o se ka belela ga o le tseleng ya jesus it was accepted that he was met it but you will overcome because you are not alone you are accompanying Jesus. Jesus but listen if now your way seems to be right and it's not the way of Jesus and at the end that way will show that it's of destruction that's what my friend Do you know that your way can seem to be better? But check the end. In other words, your way is defined better at the end. You can find some reasons of beautify the way. You can electrify your way. And make it to have light. Why did you reveal him at one? And it attracts people who are from far. They talk about it, but at the end. But when they look at you, no matter how far long you are, so all of us we must check if our ways are the way of the Lord. If you look at the way of the Lord, the way of our God. If you look at the way of the Lord, if you look at the way of the Lord, if you look at the way of the Lord, if you look at the way of the Lord, if you look at the way of the Lord, if you look at the way of the Lord, if you look at the way of the Lord. Because automatically, to take the way of God, you must take the word of God. Because the word of God is the thoughts of God. In the the right of the Proverbs says, "Do not lean on your own understanding." Meaning, your thoughts. Listen, sometimes when you are on your way, you are not lean on your own When you are on your way, no one can reprimand you. No one can stop you. As long as you are justifying your ways. As long as we now want to read it, let's go to look at it. But at the end, everybody will say we told you. Motoka o fela o tabole la rumodi che. Why John 14 verse 5? Why John 14 verse 5? If you can read there, just go. Ale ka ibala ari yung moyona. Let's go to the cabbage there. Cabbage there, because you know they love to say cabbage. Let's go to cabbage. Are you more versing you? All right. If you read verse four, there is it. I live alone. Verse four, and I'm all alone. Jesus was convinced. He says, "And to the place where I'm going, you know the way." You know. Moki ya wole ya otseva. Yeah, Jesus was trying to. To, sh- to show them that these people have been following me now they know mo jeso na bonchore ba thuba ga le ba ntatela jona ngba tseba here yeah, i've learned that you can still follow but you don't know the way o ka no latela maratsela ya ntse usa itsebe jesus was trying to say somebody can still follow me behind me here motho a ka no ntshela ka morao mara he does even understand where he's walking asa kwishishi lo ro sepela ya kai because jesus was not talking about ka bane jeso na sa boleleka he was not interested talking about where he is going nasa khathi we ka bolela uri u yakai he was talking about the road where he was na ka bolela ka tsela ye na itsa mai taking him where he is going tsela ya u isha kwa la yang teng listen everybody can talk about where at the end there motho ka fela ka bolela ka mafello a tsela it can be like jackpot of saying okay you know i'm going to i'm going to go to this back ya ya ke go join this back the moment you take n4 kana ko e o tsena ko n4 you find yourself in nel spray or that the total local net spray so jesus was saying so just so nare you you have been walking with me behind me here ha le le ntshetse mo ra o le ntsa maya le nna so where i'm going so no monna ke ya ngona 
I'm quite sure you know the way. Here, yeah, Jesus was not talking about heaven. He was talking about a way to heaven. The mistake that we are focusing on. We are focusing on the end, but we don't know the principle of getting us there. This was a problem even for Jesus. People are, people are focusing on the blessing, but they don't know how they can get those blessings. You are focusing in the final. But you are defeated here in the beginning. Now we are focusing on the end. But you are defeated here in the beginning. So this is what is happening even today. Jesus, Jesus said, said, Thomas, said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. Jesus said, Thomas, we do not know where you are going. Thomas here was making me like a joke. He said, Lord, he said, Lord, we don't know where you are going. He said, Lord, we don't know where you are going. We don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus was saying, I am the way. Jesus said, 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 I am the Wherever you want to go, you need me. You need me to wherever you want to go. Hallelujah. As I say, my friend. Do you understand the way? Or uh, you are on your way? Is that you don't know what is happening with Christians nowadays? Christians, you know, they just want blessings. But they don't want Jesus. The moment they can hear that there's another Sangoma there, they can still come with a charm in the church. When you ask them, they say, all start with C. Charm church. I mean, it leads us to the answer. You know, did you, do you know that you know many people are coming to church? Others they start to eat something. Like this. They say mm, like this. Uh, say, mm, like this, and say, God, help me. As I'm going there, mm. help me, God. Another one will just need God that. God and my ancestors. Just say, God and my ancestors. Meet somewhere. The, you know, people are so confused that you know, what they need is answer. If you hold only the way of Jesus, challenges will come. Challenge but you will overcome. Sickness will come, but you will overcome. You know, I was, I can give you an example. I mean, I'm not trying to discourage you. You are sick. We are Luala. You want prayer to be healed. All right. Yes, you can be prayed for. To be healed, but still one day you will die. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. After I pray for you, to be healed of HIV, cancer, cancer, cancer. But that doesn't mean that. It's over. One day you'll get another sickness that will kill you. You can be healed of cancer. You can be healed of cancer. And you die by flu. But you will not be healed of cancer. And you die by flu. But you will not be healed of cancer. I mean, what is important? Jesus was saying here. Was, it's not the results you get. It's not the results you get. It's how you get the results. It's how you get the results. It's better you are healed when you know the one who heal you. The one who heal you is the way to your healing. But 
Somebody will just, oh, you know what? I, I want healing. Anyhow, I want it. But the question is, but one day you will die by one another disease still. And you find that you don't know the way. Thomas was saying, you know what? Jesus, we don't want to lie to you. So, we can use other ways, but where you are going, we don't know. So, so you tell us now so that we get to the way. You know, Thomas is like these Christians want to see. Thomas was saying, Jesus, if you started this story now, show us the way of what you're talking So Jesus said, it's me. So If you take me, I'm your way of everything. We need Christians today who can say on what I want is Jesus. When I'm fasting for something, Jesus. If I'm praying, I want something, Jesus. My life, Jesus. I have Jesus. I need Jesus for the rest of my life. If not, you will develop your way. What kind of way are you developing? For you know, by the time when uh, I was starting to live a Christian life, I was bothered by these brothers who cannot propose. These brothers were too much Christians. They were so Christ, too much Christians that they could say to lady, I love you. So they will come with some ways of dreaming. One day, one brother I know, he dreamed another sister. He went to the sister and says, I want to have dreamed you. I want to have dreamed you. And then I have dreamed you to be my wife. The sister said, okay. And the brother didn't know why he can continue. He came with a way which he cannot support. The sister said, okay. So the brother could not continue. He tried to find some advice. I dreamed that sister to be my wife. When he came to me, I realized, oh, this that brother like this. I will deal with him. He said, I know Jerry, I dreamed that sister to be my wife. I said, oh, that's a very good dream. You dream her to be your wife. Let's wait. Let's wait. When you dream her to, uh, to be your wife. Let's wait. Now you are still dreaming her to be. So let's wait when you dream her. He was very trying to say, You don't understand. I said, no, I understand. You dream her to be. So wait. When you dream her, and you are marrying her in that dream. He came to me. I realized now he began to lie. I dream. This lady, she was my wife. And I was putting a ring. In that dream. And I said, Congratulations. In the dream. I said, congratulations. In the dream. And he said, what? I said, no. It means she's your wife in the dream. So carry on. You must have children in the dream. 
He was very angry. He, said, he doesn't understand. I mean the way I'm doing things. Listen to this. Many of you have dreamed big things. But when you wake up, zero. Have you ever dreamed when you see money everywhere? But when you wake up, they call you. Hello. You didn't pay. Elerins, you didn't pay. We need to know the way to the answer is to live the life of Jesus Christ. I don't know if you're hearing me. Let's get out of our ways and try to solve our ways, our, our problems, our way. And Jesus will help us. That's what I say, my friend. How become you are like this? How why, did you become like this? Why It might be your way. Take the way of Jesus. You will go above where you are. You will go above where you are. If you take Jesus to how be your way, you will see your way. You will be tempted, but you will overcome. You will be sick, but you will overcome. You will be blocked, but you will overcome. You will be blocked, but you will be blocked, but you will overcome. You will be blocked, but you will overcome. Because will be your way. Jesus will be your way. Some people dream driving big cars. They remember their dreams when their cars are broken. That's what I said, my friend. What are you dreaming? If you read Matthew 7, Matthew 7 and you read from 13 to 14, Matthew 13 to 14, Matthew seven. Seven. It, Jesus was speaking there. He said, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and spacious and broad is the way that leads away to destruction. And many are those who are entering through it. If you can see that. But the gate is narrow, contracted by pressure, and the way is strengthened and compressed that leads away to life. And few are those who find it. If you can read there, Jesus was concerned that we are not supposed to be like ordinaries. There have to be pressure. You see, when you are pressurized and you hold on to the way, you will reach there. Do you know that whatever you are facing is there to put pressure on you, to push you out of the way? If you see Everybody can still sin. Everybody can still lie. Everybody. But tell yourself, no, 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 no. Even if I have pressure to do what is wrong, I won't do it. This is a narrow road that Jesus is talking about. It makes you to enter the narrow gates. You know, the percentage of the people who are doing what is wrong is going up. And the Bible says, in the last days, it will be a perilous time. Difficult times to extend that, to live Christianity, it won't be easy. There will be pressure, a strong pressure that will make you to Go out of the way and out enter on a wide road where everybody is there. Can I ask you a question? What is it that you do? 
when you are pressurized and you cannot go out. If you are forced to go out by developing your own ways, you are still inside there. You are arrested. But if you say, I don't care, I'm hearing the prayer. I won't live where I am. You are in a narrow gate. You will reach at the end where God wants you to. Many of us, we are pressurized. And we force to live life of the ordinary. I mean the sinners. If you are pressurized, you are forced to do what sinners are doing. Enter through the narrow gate. The way is so narrow. But there is a pressure. At the end, you rejoice. Hallelujah. Amen. If you read Mark 5, especially from verse 17, we see this man, Jesus is his. When everybody was afraid to take away and say, Jesus, go away from us. The man was pressurizing to be with Jesus. That's how Jesus sent him. Your assignment is when other people are living and you are holding on to the end. That's why God will send you. If you read there, the Bible says the men that was having demons when they were casted they enter all this shine when they fall unto the waters the Bible says he pushed to be with Jesus but others will say no go away from us Jesus we are afraid go away from us and Jesus says go to Decapolis and tell them what God has done for you. The assignment of you in the Lord is when you are holding to the end. Holding until to the end. There are tough times that will come when when other people, people are living. living. But you carry on and say, I want when to reach where God wants me to live. Live. I won't live here. When other people are leaving him, he was, was holding. holding. When other people were rejecting him, he knew what has happened. He followed. When he says he's following, Jesus said, go. You find a new assignment. Tell everybody about Tell what God has done. The capolicy were 10 cities. He was an evangelist of that 10 cities. How you hold on the way. That's how you are given responsibility. Your responsibility is determined by the faithfulness you have in the way. The moment you are holding, carrying on, challenges will come. Problems will come. Shame will come. But carrying on holding at the end, there will be assignment that God is giving you. I want God to speak for you from today. To give you assignment that will shock your family. I say, assignment is coming. Listen, when God gives you assignment, you are fulfilled in that assignment because God will beg you up. What will happen is maybe family won't understand <laughs> friends will <laughs> leave you. I mean, things will be tough. You hold on. Until to the end. end. That's what my friend. I want to hold on. Until to the end. How many of you want to hold on? Listen, when you carry on holding, 
what you are waiting for, what other people are searching for, will locate you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell us, my friend, are you holding on? Let me give you an example of what happened. Can I tell you? The Bible says the disciples of Jesus Christ were afraid of Saul that was persecuting the church. The Bible says Saul was breathing threats. It means you are supposed to be afraid for your life. But there was one disciples in Damascus that was praying all the time. And God was watching and he can can see, whom can I give assignment? And he found that the disciples locked the door all of them were afraid and they were hiding. But there was one man that was praying in Damascus. And the Bible says God Bible spoke with him and said, Ananias Anania. He began to hear God speaking. Ananias Anania was not addressed as a prophet. He was addressed as a disciple. But he began to hear the voice of God speaking with him. Ananias. Ananias. Anania. Go to a straight street called Go to a street called Straight. You will find Saul praying. This man went out with a clear direction. The reason why today everything is not clear to our life. When God searches, he found we are not above Ordinaries. All of us, we are down here. God is searching even today. He's searching. Whom can I speak with? Whom can I send? Whom can I give responsibility? Go to a road called Straight. There's a man there. That is when you reach there, lay your hands. When you lay hands, Holy Spirit will come upon you. He's praying. And Saul was Blind. Things that were done in Jerusalem, Jerusalem will begin to be done in Damascus. Damascus. There are some things that Una God wants to do that has been, been done somewhere must, must be done from your fam to your family. I don't know if you're hearing me. Some families are prospering, you are not. Things that were done from those families must begin to, to, be, to, to, to happen in your family. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I, I was just, I mean, thinking about Ananias, I said, how was his experiences? Because if you remember, because he didn't have, he said, I heard about the man. So, I heard. In other words, he did what is above. If I go there, everybody is afraid. Go there. The person that I chose. He went there by the way of Jesus. If you go by the way of Jesus, even if it seems impossible, you will get the, the possibilities of it. You will receive things that other people will receive. As I say, are you in the way of Jesus or on your way? The reason why you are facing tough time is your way. 
if you are in the way of Jesus, you need to dance. You need just to rejoice and laugh at the problem. I don't know if you are hearing me. I say, my friend, what are you facing? If you are suffering, are you on the way of Jesus? And rejoice. Because you are suffering of the present time. It won't be compared with the glory. If it's persecution, don't worry, rejoice. Because the persecution will bring forth the glory. If it's poverty, rejoice. Because riches are on your way. If it's like rejoice, because abundance will be a portion. What is it that you are facing on your way? If you are the way of Jesus, you don't need to tremble. You need to hold on until to the end. You might not be visible, but you will be visible. Might not be knowing you, but, but you, they will know your name. As I say, my friend, which way are you taking? So we need to reach that level. You know, that's where I found Christianity is so simple. When Jesus spoke about it, he says, Hey, come I just to saw me. Like I know, right? you are heavy laden. I'll give you rest. Because, you know, on those other ways, when, can you see, let me give you an example. When Sangoma gives you a charm, he will tell you, wake up in the night and put the charm in the water. Took the broom and put it like this. And make sure that you're not wearing anything. But that, that's the Sangoma. Yeah. Sangoma says, join us in witchcraft. You wake up, you pour water there. You, know. when I was so I watch you look around. And you begin to say, your neighbor sees you. And begin to say, I didn't know this man is a witch. You are so heavy laden. You know, there are many things that we are trying to reach there. We have been robbed in our way. We didn't even know. I know one man that I don't even forget this man. Always he will do like this. Always he will just do like this. I said, okay, okay. okay. And he walk, walk with me. I said, okay. Until I ask him, what on earth is he doing? Why always you hold him? And you say, okay. So now, I mean, you are very much uh, you love to know many things. That was his way of getting his job. I was marketing a job with you. Okay. Okay. So one day I found that he did like this. You know what? When you put your hand like this and then when you do like this and something fall down I saw that small stick. I wanted to walk on top of it. Let me leave it. So he said, I don't know if you saw I get I say, I mean you mean stick. I say, don't say stick. This is something that is helping me. I say, my friend. Oh, he say, no, it's also gadimi. I said, all the time you're the one who guards it. When you find it, you say, oh, okay. How we okay. When you get it, you say, oh, okay. So now you throw it down, you are searching for it. And I wanted to put my... You could search it, you don't find it. And it won't talk. This thing can help you, you need Jesus. As I say, my friend, how many of you want blessings? And what are you using to get and a job? And you say, oh, okay. What are you using to get a job? What are you using to get a blessing? You need Jesus. 
Say, Jesus is my way. I'm getting rid of all the ways. I'm trusting the way. The way is Jesus. The way is Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you? We want to get rid of other ways. If you want to get rid of other ways, and you get Jesus only, I want to give you a chance to repent. Jesus is the way. Come forward. If you want to do that, come. Don't wait for somebody to come here. Come, 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 come. You need Jesus. Come, 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 come. God will help us today. I'm getting out of my way. I'm getting into the way of Jesus. I'm tired of my own way. I'm getting into the way of Jesus. The way Jesus. 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 Can we sing together? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Can we stand we sing with them? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. Jesus, your presence makes me whole. Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus.
Jesus. Yes. Oh, Jesus, your presence makes me whole. You know, by the times when things are tough, you get temptations like in the the way you see, Jesus is doing zero. That's a pressure. Check you out. Do something, can you see? So you need to hold on. You need to hold on. Until today. Can we sing for the last time? We see this Jesus here. Your presence made me oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Jesus, Holy Father, Holy Father, I come to you as a sinner. I come to you as a sinner. But I thank you. But I thank you that you did send Jesus. That you did send Jesus to die on the cross. To die on the cross for my sins. For my sin. I believe. I believe today. Today that Jesus. That Jesus is my savior. It's my savior. And I believe. And I believe my sins are gone. My sins are gone. As you are washing me clean. As you are washing me clean. With your precious blood. With your precious blood. Jesus. Jesus. Enter my life. Enter my life. Enter my heart. Enter my heart. Allow me. Allow me. To be the child. To be your child. Of my father. Child of my father. Give me authority. Give me authority. To live a holy life. To live your holy life. I thank you for salvation. I thank you for salvation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Amen. Please, before you go, hey, pastors, can you come and you lay hands on them? Oh, and then, you congratulations. You know, you the decision you have taken is important. Uh, Satan is a liar. Satan, Satan will trick you again so that you sin you again. again. Tell yourself, my past is gone. I can't do it again. Can you come, pastors, here? Yeah? They will lay hands on you. The moment they lay hands on you, you go back. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. After they touch them, they must go. Sing. Jesus, touch them. Oh, Jesus, your presence. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 
your presence we know that God has done it for you and by me coming here I mean can we just worship again? Jesus. Jesus. Lift up your hands and worship. Oh, oh Jesus. 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 Oh, oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus, your, your presence, carry on singing. Oh, Jesus, 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 oh, oh Jesus, Jesus.
keep watching cherries <laughs>